not shining. Hello. Hello. We are live. It is Saturday. It is Saturday, 1058 in Arizona. Um, so it's still technically morning. Good morning. <laughs> Cheers. I've already had my coffee. Sorry I skipped coffee without you today, but I need to chug that water. Uh, my name is Jackie Lawrence. I am with Thick Long Lashes, and you're on my personal page, and I am here to personally give you a tutorial on makeup. And today we're going to do a full face, so you're going to get start to finish full face makeup. I'm also going to show you how to do hooded eyes, okay? I'm going to give you some of Jackie's professional, Jackie's professional, hi Linda, a uh, happy anniversary, Linda, uh, professional tips on how you do hooded eyes, how to actually accentuate your eyes so you can actually see your eyeshadow. I'll also give you some tips um, if you have more mature eyes on some things that will actually help bring your eyes forward and conceal the mature look, if that makes any sense. Hi Renee, what's up girl? Okay, so start to finish, here we go. I am gonna start with primer. Hi, Vanessa. So always primer, but first of all, I've cleansed my face. I have put on instant lifting serum, you guys, that goes underneath my eyes. And that what that does is it actually softens my fine lines and wrinkles. Hi, Sierra. Um, so that they don't show up as much. I also have moisturizer on my face, and can you see my eyelashes? They're kind of like stuck together a little bit. I've got um, lash serum on. I put some lash serum on this morning, so those are dry and we'll comb those out. So we're gonna start with uh, primer. Always use primer no matter what. So I am doing makeup that's gonna stay on from day to night because I am going out to dinner I'm taking my mom out to dinner for her birthday. So I, and I have things to do this afternoon, so I am putting makeup on that's gonna last me the whole day. Hi, Brian. And I have a fan blowing on me right now, you guys. It's, I'm freaking hot and sweaty, so I'm trying not to sweat through this tutorial. Okay, we are going to put on some um, liquid foundation. And I'm gonna use one color. Oh, 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 okay. And I'm gonna use um, chiffon. This is a liquid to powder finish. Hi, Marsha, what's up, Allison? Say hello if you're tuning in. And I had to get, I'm almost out, so I'm getting another bottle here. And when you, if you um, get the foundation from Unique, you need to make sure you shake your bottle. Shake, 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 shake. Hello, Emily. All right, so I like to get every last drop. So I'm only gonna use that. Sometimes when I do a nighttime look, I'll mix like a luminizer in, um, or sometimes I use the body bronzer, which I love, which unfortunately they are discontinuing. <laughs> but usually, tech, typically, when my company discontinues something, they just come out with something better. So I'm fingers crossed that that's what's going to happen. Because I love the body bronzer. But I'm going for a very, pretty much a matte look today. Like matte. Like not a whole lot of shimmer or shine. So that's why I'm not using any luminizers or body bronzer in my foundation. I am just using straight up liquid foundation. So let's cover up all of my flaws. <laughs> And I'll tell you, I love this foundation brush. I know a lot of you have this foundation brush. When you use it, little short strokes work better than like doing this all over your face. Hey mom, I thought you were busy. <laughs> little short strokes all over your face. Mm-hmm. Make sure you go down your neck. You're taking a break, okay? Are you working on your house? All 
I like to encircle the eye. Um, here's a tip. If you are somebody, ah! if you are someone that creases in your under eye area, don't put foundation down there, okay? Skip that area because you're going to put concealer down there anyways. But if you don't have any problems with creasing, then you can put foundation over the entire face. Short little strokes and you just kind of paint it on. Where's Chris? He's watching football. Mom. And he can't come say hello because he's still in his boxers. <laughs> Where is Chris? Chris is not existent on Saturdays and Sundays. He's glued to the TV. Okay. <clears throat> Hang on, I gotta blow my nose. My nose is always running. You know this? <clears throat> okay, so foundation's on. Now, for those of you that have um, we may need him later when he's dressed, of course. All right, what do you need him for? To lift stuff, move stuff? Okay, so look, do you see this right here? This is like, unfortunately, it's just a dark spot. Um, I also have a tiny little pimple right here. So I'm gonna show you how to cover that. I recommend that you put concealer on to cover like dark spots, not under eye concealer, just dark spots like blemishes, Dark pigmentation, lift a sink. Okay, I can send them to you. I have a one o'clock um, lash client, so I'll send him then. You can go do that. You are going to use concealer over the top, not underneath. And I don't have the right color concealer here, so hang on. Wait, do I? Hang on a second. I gotta get the right color. Let's see. That's not it. That's not it. Look at how much concealer I have. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, so I'm actually gonna use a darker colored concealer than my foundation, slightly darker, okay? Because I really, really wanna cover that guy. So I am using, I use chiffon foundation. I'm going to use satin concealer over the top of it. I'm really dehydrated. What's up, Moises? All right, so here's how I like to put on my concealer. I like to control the amount that goes on my face because a little goes a long way. So I take the top of my rose water lid and I actually will put a tiny little dab right on there. Like look, look how much, can you even see? Look how little I put on there. That's probably even too much. You don't need a ton. That's why these little guys will last forever. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with my brush, I'm using a concealer brush, and I'm going to dab that on. And blend. Hello, it's gone! <laughs> and then I've got one little tiny blemish on my nose. Isn't that awesome? And look at, I, didn't, I barely used any of it. That's how awesome the concealer is. Okay, after I'm done with that, I'm going to take, I'm gonna use a loose mineral powder, but you can use pressed powder too, okay? I like to dust that over the top of my foundation. It's not, ne like it's not 100% necessary, but for me, I just like the way it sets my foundation really, really well. So I just dust a light amount of this over the top. Go down my neck. I just think it helps blend as well. Okay, so now we have one even canvas, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're ready to actually add some color and some life to my face. So let's get started with that. I'm gonna start with the eyes. So for those of you that have hooded eyes, I'm gonna really give you some amazing 
tips on how to do hooded eyes, how to really emphasize your eyes so that you can see your lids. If you're not sure what hooded eyes means, it's just this part of the eyelid actually droops down, okay? So it's hard to see this part of your eyelid. That's a hooded eye. And I'm gonna show you how to actually put on eyeshadow for hooded eyes that will actually open your eyes and make them look less hooded. It must be really windy out because my door keeps kind of like creaking a little bit and that's why I keep looking over there. It sounds like someone's at my door. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a primer on my lid and I'm using Victoria's Cream Shadow because it acts as a primer, but you don't have to. You could actually use an eye primer, but you always wanna put a primer on. So this is an actual eye primer. But I like to use the Victoria's Cream Shadow because I believe it neutralizes um, the whole area it just kind of gives me another canvas to work on. It's like a clean white sheet of paper. <laughs> it's a canvas. It's a clean slate for me to actually do some art because that's what it is. It's art. all the way up to my brows. So you can see how it's just clean. I have one solid color there. It's pretty neutral. It's a bit, little bit lighter on my skin. Again, neutral, so you need that. Um, yeah, mom, if you could, I would recommend this for you for sure. For sure, mom. But you, if you have eye primer, that will work too. But yes, mom, I recommend that. Okay, I like to let that sit for a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna go right and do my brows, and then I'm gonna... All right, sorry I was frozen there for a minute. Um, I know, I'm back, Mom, that's my internet. But I got the hubby on that. He's researching new internet for me. Okay, so I'm using the brow palette. Okay, and I'm dipping the wax first, and then I dip in, so I'll show you from the side. I dip into the wax, and then I'm dipping into the light brown color, okay, to do my brows. And I'm just doing little short little strokes <clears throat> on the top, <clears throat> excuse me, of my brow. And I'm just creating some definition, some thickness, and I'm just, it's really just brow shaping, okay? Because your brows frame your face. So you have to do your brows. And then I'm going to take my little brush and brush the hairs right back up. I know, Mom, the broadcast is interrupted, but I'm back. She's messaging me now. All right, so you can see like I've got the top and the bottom done and I need to connect the two, okay? What you don't wanna do is draw a line there, okay? I'm gonna show you how to get more of a natural look. So you're gonna go in, turn the brush upside down. I've, I've given a whole tutorial on brows, you guys. So if you need like a step-by-step -step on brows, um, go to the search engine on Facebook and put in hashtag JLaws Makeup Tips and you will see all my videos pop up and I've got one specifically, I just did one the other day called um, Upgrade Your Brow Game. And I give a step-by-step -step on how to do this specific technique that I'm doing right now. Copy. But you have to do your brows. You, you have to do your brows. Like, I don't, I don't know what, how old you are, you have to do your brows. Hi, Rachel, good morning. Or almost afternoon, it's probably afternoon for most. Although, Rachel, you're here in Arizona, so good morning. It's still a.m. Or is it, what time is it? Yeah, it's, I'm back. If you're watching this, I know, Tina, I'm sorry. It's my internet. 
My cox has just been screwing my life. And so I cannot stay live for like more than 10 minutes at a time without getting interrupted. But at least the video stays recorded and up on the wall so you can always come back to it and it doesn't show those interruptions. But it is annoying, isn't it? I think my mom got frustrated and logged off. <laughs> I made this guy thicker than the other guy. That's okay, we can fix him. Let's fix him. I always have to remind myself that my brows are not twins, they're sisters, right? And you're never really gonna get them totally identical. <laughs> you're just not. They just need to look somewhat similar. And right now I'm using the darker of, on the brow, the brow kit to add a two-dimensional brow. Multi dimensions. Okay. Then, I love this bit. I'm gonna use this side and I'm gonna highlight. And I'm going to highlight with this only today. Okay, this color right here. Do you like my nails, by the way? Aren't they pretty? My nail artist, my nail lady is an artist. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just use that light color and go right underneath. My brow and create a little bit of a highlight. And then right above as well, just slightly. Nice and sharp and defined. You can see the highlight. See that a little bit? Elizabeth, what's shaking, Lisa? Okay, I'm getting ready. The next thing is the whole hooded eye tutorial here. I just finish up my brows. Okay, brows are done. Here we go. Hooded eyes, it's probably one of the more popular requests that I get is how to do hooded eyes. Um, and there are some suggested do's and don'ts, okay? I just want you to know there are no rules. If there, if there are, I break them all. I break all the makeup rules. Um, but there are some guidelines that will help you in regards to hooded eyes. So I already told you what a hooded eye is, right? It's when the top part of your eye kind of droops over the bottom. Okay, that's a hooded eye. And I'm gonna show you some really cool makeup techniques to help, to help alleviate the hooded eye look and to, how, to play upon your um, lids so that your eyes pop. All right, so we're gonna use three different colors, okay? So you wanna get a light, a medium, and a dark. Okay, I would start within the same family color. So if you're going to, when you first do this, if it's your first try at this technique, stay in the fa same family color. So do light, medium, dark pinks, or a light, medium, dark browns, or light, medium, dark grays, or light, medium, dark blues. You get the picture, right? So I'm going to use browns for this. And I'll show you what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a couple different colors. I'm gonna use grateful. Here's my light. Okay, grateful is a really, really light tan brownish color. My medium, oh gosh, the color is gingerly, I think. Let me see. Um, no, it's not gingerly. It's not gingerly. It is uh, 
fanatical, and I'll show you that color here. It's in my palette. Okay, and fanatical is a shimmer. So it's kind of like a coppery orangish color. It's my medium shimmer, okay? And if you're going to use a shimmer, the shimmer needs to be your medium color. Okay, this is for those of you who have hooded lids. Okay, you can do all matte, but only one shimmer. Only one shimmer, maybe two shimmers, but your, your shimmer should be your medium color. Okay, so that's my shimmer, okay? Right there, fanatical. And then you want a dark color. And my dark color is, oops, I think it's going to be proud. No, it's going to be faithful, which is a really dark brown. Okay, so light, medium, dark. Let me get a drink of water, and here we go. I'm going to get that whole gallon down by before 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Who says that all the time? Okay, okay. It's from some movie. We are going to start with the um, medium color. Okay? The medium color. So I am going to use, and I, I, I mean, you could technically use as many colors as you want, but I'm trying to keep this simple. Three, just three colors. I'm trying to keep this simple and doable for you. So the key thing, though, honestly, is going to be having some good tools. So the jug is unbecoming. I'm sorry, Mom. I just, I'm keeping it real, okay? It's, I was not drinking out of a jug for a while. I was drinking out of a water bottle, but I don't drink it as fast. <laughs> I just like to chug out of the jug. And this is just me. It's just who I am. So the tools, hello Stephanie. So the tools are gonna be the key factor here, okay? So we get three colors, light, medium, dark, and some good brushes. Some good brushes really can make the difference. So I'm gonna use a couple different brushes um, and show you how to do this technique. So right now I'm going to use this brush, which is a crease brush, and I'm also just gonna use a standard deluxe brush. We're gonna start with the crease brush. Actually, I lied. I'm going to start with the cream shadow brush, okay? And I'm going to use, this is um, Grateful, okay? Hello, Danya. Um, thank you, Mom. So I'm. this is going to use the cream shadow brush. We are going to use both of these. Hi, Michelle. So I'm going to start with the cream shadow brush, and we're going to come back and use the crease brush. I'm just going to get to it, okay? So this, and you don't have to use cream shadow for this look, okay? You can use regular shadow, okay? You don't have to use cream shadow. So let's go right to it. But I just want to show you the light color. So I'm using the light color. You could use the medium color for this as well, as long as it's not a shimmer. Okay, so you can use the light or the medium. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to take it. Say hi to Julie. You can say hi to Julie, Mom. <laughs> say hi to Julie on my post. Mom, Julie, my mom says hi. Okay, so you go right, so you're gonna find your crease. You have a crease, even if you have hooded lids, okay? So you find the brow bone, and then right underneath the brow bone is your crease. So you're gonna go right into the crease and put the product there, okay? And you only wanna go three quarters of the way into your eye, so don't go all the way into the corner. I'm going three quarters of the way all the way to the outside, okay? There you go, ma, ma. And then, this is also gonna act as a transition color. I like to pull, you're gonna, well, I like to, but this is what you need to do, is you need to take, okay, back. <laughs> you're gonna take that color and you wanna pull it above the bone, the brow bone. So you're not quite going all the way up to your eyebrow, but if you can see, I don't have anything on this eye, I've got it in the crease and it's going slightly above. You wanna do this with your light or medium color. It just depends on how light your light is. If your light is light color is like a white or a cream, then use your medium color, okay? But if your medium color has a shimmer in it, which is what I'm going to do, um, today, then you don't want to use your medium in the crease. It has to be a matte, 
Matte means there's no shine to it uh, at all. It's a matte color. So what I'm using right now is a Grateful Cream Shadow, and that is a matte color. And it's going into the crease, and then I'm pulling it up. It's actually called feathering. You're feathering it up above the brow bone. So it's gonna pop when I add color to it later. Let's do the other side. Again, so let's talk about this again. You're going into the crease and three quarters of the way in. So you're not going into the corner. Do not go into the corner with your brush. And then you're feathering it up. I cannot see in that mirror. It's darker on this side. I said hi to Julie. Mom, did you see in the comments? She said hello back. Okay, here's something else for you to know. Remember that concealer that we put on the back of this? You don't wanna wipe it off, you're gonna save it for later because I'm gonna show you how to clean up the outsides. So as you're practicing this technique and you're like, oh my gosh, the outside's kinda of getting messed up, like out here, don't worry about it, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Like mine is right now, it's like not blended, it's terrible, but it's okay. I've got the greatest technique to fix that and the greatest technique to give you an eye lift without surgery. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Violet. Okay, so we got our crease done. Hang on, I gotta wipe my nose because it runs all the time. We got our crease done. Okay, so now I'm going to use my medium color. Okay, this is where you place the shimmer. If you're going to use shimmer, hey girls, Okay, so my medium color, I told you is fanatical, and that's this color right here, and it's got a shimmer to it. Um, and I'm going to use my deluxe brush. Hi, April. You so need this video. Good, Julie. You gotta try it. So, your medium color. So I've got my light color. Again, let me rephrase this, or not rephrase it, but tell you again. Light, medium, dark. If you're trying this for the first time, stay in the same color family. So use browns, all pinks, all grays. Stay in the same family color the first time you try this. You're gonna start with your crease. Your crease is either gonna be your light or your medium. If your light color is a cream color or a whitish color or very, very, very light, like this would be like a whitish cream color. Like if it's that light, do not use that for your crease, okay? Use your medium color for your crease and then pull it up above the brow bone. And you're going to use your medium color for this next technique as well. So you'll use them for both. So, taking my brush, I'm taking my medium color and I'm going to do the outer thirds of my eye. So I'm going right, basically out just the outer, maybe slightly into the center. So outer half, we'll say outer half of my eye with my medium color, which I'm using an article. Okay. And I'm going into the crease and just onto the lid. That's good enough. Outer half. We'll say outer half, not outer third, because I'm kind of going halfway. And now I'm using the medium color. Okay, and then my medium color has a shimmer to it. You can only, I recommend, okay, this is all based on my recommendations. Only use your shimmer on that part. Don't use shimmer in the scent, in the crease, and definitely not shimmer in the, in the um, inner corner, okay? For this particular look for hooded eyes. And if you have mature eyes, no shimmer in the inner corner eye. 
for the most part. It's, again, there's always an exception to that rule, but for the most part, that's the basic general recommendation I have for you. Okay, so now I'm going to take my um, crease brush and I'm going to use the dark. Okay, so now we're going with the dark, which mine is faithful, it's a dark brown. And I'm using cream shadows, but you can use regular shadows. It doesn't have to be cream. And I'm going into the uh, crease again. Okay, but this time I'm going to stay in the crease. I'm not going to pull it up. This is the trick. You're creating dimension now on your lid so that your eye pops. Your actual lid here pops and the hood seems less prominent. So you go right into the crease. Uh, You go right into the crease and blend. Just like that. And stay in the crease, okay? So you're just creating some dimension. What's up? Did I already say hi to you, April? Hello, April, again, if I did. Again, um, do not go all the way in to the inner corner. Stay on the outer of your eye, okay? And you can make it as dark as you want. You just wanna blend it really well, okay? Then you're gonna take the same brush, okay? And you're going to go, you're gonna go down towards the last, okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so then I'm, I will show you again what I did. You're gonna take that brush, get your product, and right at the outer corner, just pull it down, just the outer corner, okay? Please, just the outer corner. So it's kind of like a little bit of a V down there. Hi, Sandra. Okay, do you see the difference in my eyes? So I added a little dimension, but we're not done yet. We're not done with this hooded eye look, because you really gotta make the eye pop more. But this is the next step, so this is really important, that your crease, the dark color goes in the crease, but it stays in the crease. It does not pull up and it does not pull down. It kind of just stays in the crease area and you just want to make sure you blend really well. And this crease brush will help you blend. Okay, hi Andrea. And I just kind of going back and forth in little circular motions to make sure it blends. And then I'm gonna pull on the outer corner down, just the outer corner. Let's make this side darker. Any questions so far? It's not too hard yet, right? We're not done, we got mm, a couple more techniques to show you on a hooded eye before we complete the look. All right. Then you're gonna go to your light color. Okay, so I used my light in my crease. I'm also gonna use my light color for the inner corner of my eyes. Uh, if you used your medium for your crease, you use your medium for your crease and the outer half of your eye, and then now is when you gr grab your light color. So I've got my light color, which that was grateful, and I'm going to do my light color in my inner corner. So you go right in to the inner corner and you blend it across. And what's really, really important especially if you have mature skin, i.e. your skin on the top of your lid sometimes looks crepey, okay? If, and if you don't know what that means, you don't have mature skin. <laughs> if you know what that means, then matte, always use matte in the inner corner, okay? And that will help you tremendously with how your product looks on your lids. 
Mm -hmm. I'm back. Sorry about the internet issues. Okay, so I'm just doing the other eye. I'm taking the light and going right into the inner corner of my eye and pulling it across to blend. So now it's kind of cool because I got that little medium color popping on my lids. And you can go and touch up if you wanted that color to kind of um, stand out a little more. You can kind of touch it up if you want. It's totally up to you. Then, I love, 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 like love this brush. This is a blending brush. There is no product on this brush. None. You, the internet's so bad. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so there's no product on this brush. You, if you have trouble blending, this does it for you. Uh-huh. This will blend everything for you. You just go in and blend it all. Okay? I also like to use this brush for highlighting. Okay, so right now I just used three colors, you guys, and we haven't done the bottom, and I gotta show you what to do with your liner. That's gonna be a key factor in this. But if you wanted to, you could do a little bit of color up by the brow. I used my brow kit, right? My little highlighter, my brow kit from underneath my brow. I'm also gonna use, this is called a luminizer, okay, which I'm gonna show you how to use later on your cheekbones. I'm gonna take my little blending brush and just do a little bit up here, just a little bit. And then it just highlights um, the brow bone, which brings up my eye. Again, great for hooded lids. It lifts everything up, okay? But you just wanna make sure it's not too shiny, because if it's too shiny, then it won't look as good. We'll just say that. Okay, we still gonna do the bottom too, okay? So I'm gonna get to the bottom and show you what to do at the bottom, but we gotta highlight the bottom. But let's get to liner. Okay, let's get to the liner. This is probably the number one area that some women are making mistakes on in regards to if you have hooded lids. Typically, you wanna put liner right all the way across the top of our lid. Actually, if you want to play up your eyes and you have hooded lids, you do not wanna put liner all the way across. You wanna stay out on the outer third of your lid only. Okay, because I'm gonna show you how to make your lashes pop and your lid come forward and you're not gonna hide it underneath there. But if you put black liner all the way across, that actually emphasizes a hooded lid. So you're gonna stay to the outer corner of your lid, okay? I'm gonna actually use black eyeliner and we're even gonna do a little wing. So I'll go to the outer corner and I'm gonna draw the wing first. Now you can stay with a tiny little wing, like I call that a kitten wing. It's just a tiny little wing if you're not a wing person, or you can make it really dramatic. And go all the way into the crease. Can you tell I use this liner all the time? I'm down to a nub. So first I take the wing, and then I'm actually pulling the product across just the outer third of my eye. Do you see that? Just the outer third. I would also tight line. What does tight line mean? I'm gonna go underneath, and this you can go underneath and all the way across. Okay, and that's what's gonna make your lashes look a little more dramatic, but stay on the outer third of your eye. You see what's happening here? I've also given myself a little bit of an eye lift. I opened my eyes up, but I haven't hit, hid my actual um, eyelid, the body of my eyelid. Let's do the other side. Let's draw my wing. Three quarters of the way in. Are we even? <laughs> Tight line. 
Gotta go. Want to see the saggy eye stuff and some other things. See you later. <laughs> okay, Mom. Okay, outer corner with the liner. Okay, now let me show you that trick that I was telling you about. Um, if you've messed up on the outer side of your shadow, like it's kind of way out here and it shouldn't be, this is the best trick ever. Use your concealer brush, go back with the concealer that you might have used earlier, just dab a little bit, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, like a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. And then you go to the outer corner of your eye and swipe up. And that will clean up and sharpen. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> the internet keeps going in and out. Okay, that will sharpen the outer edges. So you just take that concealer brush, put a little concealer on there, swipe up, and it instantly will clean up that area and also instantly give you a little bit of an eye lift. Voila. Okay, before we do mascara, I'm also going to do the bottom, right? But did you notice that I didn't do the bottom and I haven't done any under eye concealer? So let me show you how that works. If, again, you have mature skin, um, wrinkles underneath your eyes, bags, crepiness happening underneath your eyes, okay? I recommend that you use a powder concealer versus a cream-based concealer. Okay, powdered concealer. So what I use for powdered concealer is actually quite simple. I use powder, <laughs> just a powder. And it's powder is actually two shades lighter than my foundation. Because I want to brighten up the area and I want to soften the other area. I don't want to emphasize the wrinkles and the crepiness that I might have underneath my eyes. So again, I'm referring to those of you that have fine lines, wrinkles, mature skin. If you don't have that, then you can definitely use a cream-based concealer. It will do, it will work beautifully, okay? So I'm gonna show you with powder. So I'm using this concealer powder brush, and I'm gonna go in underneath the eye area, and you just, you do the exact same thing you would do with um, cream-based concealer. You draw a V. So I'm gonna go down and up. So I've got a little V, and then you just fill in the V. And I'm gonna do one eye versus the other so that you can see the full effect of this. Okay, you can kind of already see what's happening. I also like to use the little sponge that comes with it and I actually press that down to set it a little bit. And then I will use setting powder, which to me is the age eraser because <laughs> it really softens the fine lines. It's meant to do that. It's meant to soften fine lines and pores and diffuse them so that you can't see them. So setting powder is a must. So I go in, I set it. Look, look at the difference. Okay, I obviously haven't contoured and I have no color on my cheeks yet, but you can see the difference of how much lighter my under eye area is versus under here, and you can see my bags under here. Yeah, it's a must. So let's do the other side. Draw your V and then fill it in. Now I do my under eye area before I actually put pigment underneath the eye, uh, but after I do my top eye, because you know how sometimes when you're doing your eye with eyeshadow, sometimes the shadow falls onto your face? It's just much easier to clean up on your face um, before you put your concealer on than after, because once you have your concealer on, it's on, right? And then when you try to go and clean it up, you smears, and then you gotta redo it all again. Hi, Katie. So setting, and then I'm gonna use the setting powder. The Magic Age Eraser. Ta-da! 
Now I like to do a little bit of a highlight on my nose, okay, because I like to have a very defined nose. So I will actually take it down the center of my nose, and this is just extra, extra, okay, extra, extra. And I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you a contour later, so I'm actually going to accentuate my contour. Like so. Okay, now we can finish the bottom of the eye, okay? And then we'll go into a contour, and then we'll do a little lippy, and I'll show you how to use a luminizer, especially if you have mature skin. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the bottom of the eye. Um, you can do full liner across if you wanted to, okay? Um, again, I want the colors to pop, and I don't want my hooded lid to be accentuated, so ladies, less is more. So what I'm gonna do is let's use, um, and don't, and I would, if you have mature skin, I would not use shimmer all the way across, although there's an exception, there's always exceptions to the rules. Um, it's not as bad doing shimmer all the way across on the bottom as it is doing it on the top and the inner corner. But for to stay safe, I would do a matte color. And I'm gonna do, uh, I think I'm gonna use the light, okay? My light color, which was this, was grateful. I'm gonna use that on the bottom. I sure am, I sure am. And I'm gonna use, oh, let's just use the cream shadow brush again. Okay, so I'm gonna use the cream shadow brush and I'm gonna go on the bottom and I'm gonna go all the way across. Hmm. I don't know, I kind of think I want it darker. We might have to do this with the dark. It is pretty though, but I don't think it's dark enough. Yeah, let's do the dark. So I'm gonna go back and use Faithful, which is the dark. Hi Kylie and Jolly and Holly and Jolly. I never get your name right. I'm butchering it. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm using the dark. Oh yeah, much better, right? So if you want to give yourself an eye lift, you stay in the outer third of the bottom eye. I'm gonna pull it across though. There. Again, I want emphasis on my lid. I want my eyes to be uplifted. So I didn't do a totally, totally dark color on the bottom. I'm gonna tell you that you can do a dark color if you really want to, but if you're really looking to emphasize the actual body of your um, eyelid and, and conceal your hood, then I would do something not as dark like black on the bottom. Because you want, again, you want to draw everything up and not down. I don't, don't ask me why I hold my mouth open. I don't know why. It's a habit. Hi, Miranda. What's going on there in Prescott, right? You're in Prescott? Is it Prescott or Prescott? <laughs> how, do, how are we supposed to say it? All right. Now let's put on some mascara. So you're really gonna see my eyelid pop when I put on mascara because I didn't put eyeliner all the way across. All right, let's do, cause I'm going out tonight, right? So I'm gonna do, I'm doing the Ultimate Lash Trio and I've already put on um, my lash serum. I did that this morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little brush and brush through my eyelashes. And you would want to use the eyelash serum if you need longer lashes, okay? 
you need longer lashes, you use the serum every day or every night or both and it will grow your lashes. Most see results within two weeks. But it's guaranteed to make your lashes longer by almost 40% within 30 days. But you gotta use it every day. Okay, so I've combed through that. I'm gonna use Epic. Okay, so we're gonna start with Epic, which is my daily mascara. How are we doing on time here? Okay. So look at that. Look at that. That's just one coat of Epic. But do you see how you can see my lid it pops forward? Um, you would not be able to see as much of my lid if I had put liner all the way across. Even a thin line, I recommend. Not even a thin line, okay? Outer third only, outer third only. Didn't it get like, just, I don't know, 80% better after I put mascara on? It's gonna be 100% when I do my contour. So I'll do two cuts, two coats, I don't know why I'm talking like this, of Epic. <laughs> I almost don't need to do 3D, but I'm going to just because I want lots and lots of drama in my eyes. Okay, so I'm doing the Ultimate Lash Trio, which is three products, right? Lash Serum, Epic Mascara, 3D. 3D is gel fiber gel, and this is what gives you the ultimate lashes. This is when people say to me, are your lashes real? And I'm like, yeah, it's just great products. So we start with gel. Coat the lashes really good with the gel. And then you go in with the fibers, which are dry, okay? And I do from the mid to the tip. You do not go down to the waterline. Mid to tip. Long strokes. And then you've got, oh, <laughs> you've got incredible volume in your lashes. <sighs> gel, it's a three-step process. So if you're new to this, if you're new to this, it's gel, fiber, gel. I just did gel, now I'm doing fibers, because look at that, hello, look at that, hello. And then you always end with gel. Okay, always, always end with gel because that's what seals the fibers in and get your lashes to last all day and all night, people.
And then I'm actually going to do another coat just on the tips. What? <laughs> I always like to let it sit for a minute before I put the gel, the final coat of gel on. What? Hi, Gina. Look at how, look, you guys. Look at how dramatic I can get my lashes. <laughs> okay, final coat of gel. I mean, this is the Ultimate Lash Trio, three products. I don't wear my lashes like this every day. I usually just use Epic, which you guys saw. But when I have a night out, I like to wear really dramatic lashes and so I can create that with the ultimate lash trio and then there are some of you who want lash ultimate lashes like this all day long or every day I should say I met a girl a waitress actually not too long ago and she her eyelashes looked unbelievable and I was complimenting her on it and she's like it's like eight layers of five different brands <laughs> yes I've, we've converted her we've converted her over eight layers five different brands just to get that look no no all right so let's do contour every woman should contour okay so I uh, you've seen me do this before I have a whole tutorial on this so I'm just gonna go straight into it ask questions if you want but we're just gonna get in. Contour is where, I don't know, in my opinion, and this is just in my humble opinion, I go from, because I don't know, I start at a zero, and then I get my brow on, right? And I'm like, okay, my brows are on, and I'm, I'm at a five now, right? And then I get my eyes done, and my mascara goes on, and I'm like, okay, I'm an eight. And then I do my, and then I do my contour, and I am a 10. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. You have hooded eyes. Okay. So if you're just tuning in, you're going to want to watch this from the beginning. Um, because I talk about, or not the very beginning, because I did a full face today, but I do a specific technique for those that have hooded eyes that will help you tremendously. Okay, but let me, let me, I'm doing my 10 right now which is my contour, <laughs> which contouring is like confidence building. It's just, it's just a must. Look it, see cheekbones. Chiseled nose, look. Do you see my nose? <laughs> Pouty lips. My lips are really chapped. You know what? Let's condition them. While we're doing blush, I'm gonna condition my lips. This is a lip exfoliator. Uh -huh. Okay, and it's sugary, so it's yummy. All right, so I've got my contour on. Now I'm gonna put some blush on. And today I'm going to use uh, the blush from Arcudos, you guys, which is called Serene. And it's like a, sh it's a very, very slight shimmery pink, okay? 
So I'm gonna use that, and this goes right on top of where you just contoured. Little color. Hi Tracy, what's up Shy? Tracy, Tracy, you're one of my idols, Tracy Vlahos. <laughs> like, whoa, Tracy's on. <laughs> All right, a little bit of blush on. Uh, I have conditioning my lips. That's why they look a little cray cray right now. And then we'll do a little lip. We'll set everything and then we'll be done. Okay. I'm actually going to use this color lip gloss. It is called Lippy and I'm just doing a lip gloss and doing a really pretty um, shine to my lip. You can use lip liner if you want. And this is a really pretty subtle color. And I, so I don't use a lip liner because I prefer to contour my lip area rather than put more product on. That's just me, you can do lip liner. Okay, and then lastly, we're just gonna set this all, okay? So you take your setting spray, shake it up a little bit, and this sets your makeup all day long. It smells good too. And then you're ready to go. <laughs> That's it, you guys. That's the tutorial. It's a long one today, but I did full face makeup for you. So if you have any questions on any of the techniques that I did, hooded eyes specifically, this was for you. For those of you that have hooded eyes, um, let me know how it goes when you try that out. Three colors, right? Light, medium, dark. The first time you try this, try to stay in the same family of colors, okay? And once you start getting used to the technique, then you can start doing different family colors mixed together and it's gonna blend really, really well but it's easier to blend with the same family of colors. And then liner, just making sure your liner stays in the outer third of your eye. And then of course, make sure you have a great mascara to help your lids pop. Thank you, Shine. Okay, that was it. If you um, aren't able to watch this video or you wanna come back to it, you can share it so that way it's always something that you come back to. You can save it, just so you know. I don't know if you know that, but if you click on the little arrow on the top of this video when it's done, you can save the video so that you can come back to it later. And if you know somebody that would benefit from this tutorial, make sure that you share it with them. Oh, or you can put their name in the comments so they can see it. And if you know, if you or you or anyone you know is, um, looking to make some extra money from home, from their phone, from their computer, doing what I do. I am currently training women how to do that. So please send them my way because I would love to help them and show them how to do this. Have a great day. Have a good night. Ciao.